Hallo zusammen! Many of you guys will know that I'm a sucker for music, especially for rock and metal music. And while most bands I usually listen to have lyrics in English, I also like quite a few German bands with German lyrics. And not only because the band I want to talk about today has many German songs, but also because many of their songs have a very unique way of using German words and phrasings and whatnot, I would like to introduce you to Subway to Sally today. Let's find out who they are, which kind of rock and metal they play, and what is special about their songs and albums. Subway to Sally is a German band that was formed in and around the town of Potsdam in the state of Brandenburg, near Berlin. They formed in 1990, shortly after the German unification. They chose to call themselves Subway to Sally because in an earlier song called Down the Line, the female protagonist called Sally was pretty much a metaphor for salvation and a goal in life. So the subway to that is pretty much life and what goes on in your life, I'd say. Yeah, but wait Dave, didn't you just say they make German songs? So why does that song have an English title then? That doesn't make any sense. Well, on their first album, Album 1994, Album 1994, which, well, was released in 1994, they've mixed English with German songs. But the vast, vast majority of songs on their 12 studio albums are completely in German. Hell yeah, a few of their songs even feature Latin or Gaelic texts. As of May 2018, the band is a septet, which means Subway to Sally consists of seven people, six guys and one lady. And when you actually take a closer look at what each of them contribute to the sound of the group, you already get an idea for what is special about their style compared to many other rock and metal bands. I mean, just look at this picture. Various types of pipes, whistles, lutes, a mandolin, a violin, etc, etc. What is going on here? In fact, many of the musicians in Subway to Sally are multi-instrumentalists. Depending on songs and what they require, they can play different instruments. Their trademark sound consists of rock and metal music that's fused with medieval and folk sounds, which in combination with the topics of many of their songs is a powerful yet elegiac listening experience. While their earlier albums were mostly influenced by folk and medieval type of music, their later albums incorporated more rock and metal elements. Of course, when you think of heavy music coming from Germany, you most definitely come up with Rammstein in the first place. And, well, that's obvious and correct. But I'd say that at least a majority of Rammstein fans might also enjoy the sound of Subway to Sally. I wouldn't say though that the singing voice of Eric Fisch is overly similar to Till Lindemann's vocals, but he definitely has a very distinct voice that really fits the songs and their topics. And even though he usually doesn't write the actual lyrics, which is the job of guitarist and founding member Michael Budensky, he adds a lot of character to the overall sound of what is Subway to Sally. I actually found out about the band and explored them back in 2007 when they released their album Bastard, this one actually, with the song Auf Kiel, which was a single, and I well, pretty much instantly fell in love with that track. The title Auf Kiel basically refers to the phrase or the term Auf Kiel legen, to lay down the keel, which refers to nautical science. The keel, der Kiel, basically is the bottom of the ship that's always under water. It features pretty much all trademark elements that I love about the band. Great melodies, harmonics, a very, very catchy chorus and intriguing lyrics. In this case, they deal with sailing, a retired sailor that at times still longs and remembers distant places, adventures, explorations and the like. And the song really manages to evoke a feeling of longing and adventure in me. Even if you might not understand the lyrics right away, it's still a song that's simply fun to listen to. The same is true for the whole album, which I'm gonna focus on in this video. What I especially, absolutely love, love, love about the songs by Subway to Sally is the way they make use of the German language. And apart from being a great band, this is also one of the reasons why I decided to make a video about Subway to Sally on this channel. 
Lots of their songs feature normal words every German would use on a daily basis, but they basically are enriched by older and sometimes even old-fashioned terms that relate to medieval times and the way people expressed themselves in earlier decades and centuries. Please don't get me wrong here, when I say old-fashioned in this context, I don't mean that in any negative way, shape or form. Quite the opposite, actually. Unfortunately, I can't include songs in this video out of copyright reasons though, but you can find links to all songs I'm tackling in this video in the video description and I would strongly recommend checking them out. You can also find videos with English translations to some of the songs on YouTube. The song Voodoo, which is about hate and actively wishing a person the worst, features the line Ich lege Feuer an ein Bildnis von dir. I spark a fire onto an effigy or a likeness of you. No German would use the term das Bildnis for something like this today, we would just say das Bild. But because Germans still know what this means, what the Bildnis actually refers to, they can understand the song right away pretty much. It really is fun to listen to the song like that because you wouldn't expect those words to be used. Well, actually old German words you don't really hear anymore. And all of that in combination with the unique instrumentation with the medieval and folky influences makes the Subway to Sally back catalog, so to speak, very unique and fascinating, I think. In the opening track on Bastard called Meine Seele brennt, My Soul Burns, there is a line that goes Flammenfinger, die nach Reisig fassen, haben Feuergaben angefacht. Flame fingers that reach for brushwood have kindled flashes of fire. If that ain't cool and poetic, I don't know. Honestly, lines like this one add so much depth to the songs and I personally think that it's unique phrasings or words like these ones that really trigger and invite the listener to use their imagination and to think about which images it actually creates in your head and what it means in the context of the song as well. It sounds like a paradox, I can deny that, but it actually isn't. Using older and comparatively rare terms evokes a fresh feeling. The song Das Hohe Lied, the song of songs, an ode or hymn, is basically loaded with unique terms and words that are old fashioned as well. Im Lustgekreisch beim Weiberfleisch, im Freudenhaus beim Leichenschmaus, Lob singen wir uns Lieder. In the morning, in the female's flesh, in the house of pleasure, during the funeral feast, we chant our own praises. I mean, come on, that's badass. Because it's pretty much an ode and a hymn to something, Das Hohe Lied also features harmony vocals, which add an epic feel to the overall sound. The sound of Eric Fisher's voice in combination with the instruments sounds really, really cool. So I'm really sure you'll also enjoy the music when you don't know what the lyrics actually say. All the songs I've talked about in this video are featured on the album Bastard. And there are many more albums with many more songs I could have tackled, but I chose this one because it basically means the most to me. And there are many great examples for the creativity and the unique lyrics of Subway to Sally. So I really hope I could spark a certain fascination, a certain interest in the band in checking out their lyrics and their songs because, believe me, it's worth it. Thanks for your attention and thanks for watching. I'm your vlog Dave, tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.